I'm adding a new droid to my kitchen, and while this one may not be programmed to help with my ship and my maintenance, not for etiquette either, it is going to help me a lot with my dinner prep, and for that, I'm all about it. Hey guys, I'm Monica from Popcorn Reviews, and if you're new here, welcome! I'm excited to share with you a new unboxing of this Star Wars Instant Pot. Now, you may have an Instant Pot at home, or you may be in the market for an Instant Pot. I have an Instant Pot and I use it quite frequently. I have some go-to recipes which I just love and it makes meal prep so easy. Um, but I got a new one. So don't tell my other droid. But I am adding this cute little BB-8 Instant Pot to my kitchen. It was actually gifted to me by my cousin. Thank you, Jessica. She didn't think my kitchen was geeky enough. So when she saw this Instant Pot, she said my name was written all over it. This Instant Pot is part of the Star Wars line, so there's actually a collection of Instant Pots that are Star Wars. There is a six quart, which is kind of the standard size for R2-D2, Darth Vader, a Stormtrooper, a nine quart, which is a larger Instant Pot in Chewbacca kind of style. And then this one is BB-8 and it is a three quart Instant Pot. So it's a little smaller. On the box it says it recommends um, that this is for three people if you're cooking that amount, amount of food, which is gonna be great for my husband and I. I have a six quart Instant Pot now and I'm gonna show you side by side how they compare. And a lot of times it's too much for us. I either make too much food, which is always a story of my life, or it's just a more cleanup. It's a bigger pot than I need. So I'm really excited to see what this three quart droid has to offer. It also has all the settings that you're used to. It is a seven in one instant pot. So it does pressure cooking, saute, steaming, slow cooking, rice cooking, the food warmer, yogurt maker, and it is gonna be a handy dandy little guy in my kitchen. All right guys, so let's open this up and get BB-8 out of this box. I'm so excited. Okay, wait, I gotta stop. This boxing is actually really cute too. So we see obviously Star Wars BBA Instant Pot. But right on the inside, it actually says, welcome to the galaxy, which is just kind of a cute little touch. And then you open it again, welcome to the rebellion. Oh yeah, we're in the rebellion. It says beep, boop, beep, C-3PO. Oh, C-3PO saying it. Oh dear, allow me to translate. Welcome to the Instant Pot Alliance. This one-of-a-kind astromech is here, is here to help you on all your cooking adventures. Beep, boop, beep. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. I didn't know how big it was gonna be. Honestly, this is like the perfect little size. I might actually keep it out on my countertop now that I see it. I thought it's gonna be a little bigger and take up more space, but I'll tell you what, I just wanna look at this. All right guys, here is the BBA Instant Pot from the Star Wars line. Oh my gosh, so cute. So he's got all the BBA markings all along the side. That white and orange droid, which we're so used to. We've got soup and broth, meat and stew, bean and chili, rice, porridge, and steam options, all programmed here as quick buttons. We've got slow cook, saute, pressure levels, keep warm options, yogurt, pressure cook, the cancel, and of course a delay start. So all the options you're used to are on this Instant Pot, which is awesome because I've gotten pretty used to those. Take off the lid. It comes with the metal tray stand. This is handy if you're steaming anything. Got our stainless steel inner pot. So this little guy will be perfect for serving about three people. You can see this pot is not too, too big. Um, this is again, the three quart instant pot. And as you can see here, walks right into place. And this is the BBA Instant Pot. So here are my two Instant Pots side by side so you can see the size difference. This is the three quart Star Wars BB-8 one. And this is my six quart Instant Pot which I got a couple years ago for Christmas. So you can see there is a size difference. This one is double the size. I'll take out right now so you can see. We've got, this is the three quart pot. 
and then this is the six quart. So you can see there is a size difference. Um, this one again is good for three people. This one would be good then for about 60 people, but I can tell you I've definitely served meals for more people than just that. So yes, well I do have two instant pots now. I've got two little droid helpers in my kitchen who will be helping me. This is gonna be my new go-to for my husband AJ and I when we're making our meals on a daily basis. But this one is gonna be great for parties when I've got family members over and friends just to be able to make more food at once. It's gonna be really handy. And also to have two instant pots going at once. If you're doing meat in one and vegetables in another, that's gonna be really handy too. So if you are new to instant pots, let me just tell you my personal story of when I first got mine. I was kind of terrified of it, okay? There's steaming and hissing and pressure and warnings. Let me just tell you, it's not that bad. You just follow the instructions that come right inside the box of how to, you know, do your first um, steaming and pressure cooking session, I guess, if you will. One of it is just to clean everything out. Um, but once you get used to it, it's fine, believe me. I will tell you, there is one family member who has not 100% gotten used to my instant pot cooking yet, and that is my poor little dog, Anzu. He definitely is skeptical, and whenever he sees me get my instant pot out, he knows there's gonna be steam, there's gonna be kissing, and that he goes away either on the furthest side of the couch where he can keep a suspicious eye on it, or he goes up on the stairs where he has the vantage point to look down and just watch it in case something happens, or he's gone. He's all the way upstairs, he wants nothing to do with it. But I tell you what, don't be afraid of your Instant Pot. I, I love it. I, there are go-to recipes, which I'm not willing to give up anymore, and it's safe, and it is gonna be a great addition to your weekly meal planning. If you're looking for a Star Wars Instant Pot of your own, I'm gonna have links below in the description. You'll be able to find them for BB-8, for Chewy, for Darth Vader, for Stormtroopers, and for R2-D2. So while supplies last, feel free to check these out. I mean, if you love Star Wars, what a great way to add a cute, nerdy touch. Honestly, I don't find it that obnoxious either. I try to keep my, my kitchen a little neutral just so people don't feel like they walk into my house and I'm just screaming at them with my geekiness. But apparently, I didn't have enough geekiness and that's why my cousin got me this Instant Pot. So I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna find a good place to put this and until next time, may the force be with you.